Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We're glad you joined us. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Viverdi. All right, ladies, I think we can all agree that great-looking, healthy hair is a top priority, it's right? It's one of the top three. <laughs> Today, we've got the story of one woman who turned a near-tragic hair loss story into a successful line of keratin-based products. Stay tuned for that. I want to see that. And speaking of stories, we have a fabulous Tooth Fairy kit featuring a wonderful book that'll become a family keepsake and tradition for your little ones as they lose their teeth. I think it's the next elf on the shelf. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Though. Plus a simple test that's helping those with breast cancer. Packed show, The Balancing Act, starts right now. Our next guest turned near tragedy into triumph, and ultimately women everywhere are now benefiting from her experience. To say it was hair-raising and life-changing is just putting it mildly. And here to explain is Diana Torado Scarelli, founder and CEO of Cara Green by LBD. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here, but this is such a tragic story. But take me back to that day that a keratin treatment almost did you in. It was horrible. I became toxic. Uh, 72 hours after applying the treatment to my hair, I ended up in the hospital for eight months in and oh out of treatment. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Thinking that I was going to leave my kids without a mother, uh, thinking of making a will because I thought that was the end of me. Um, it was really a, a very hard experience to go through. I lost most of my hair. I became deformed. I was itching from lumps all over my body, my, oh my head. Gosh. My blood was toxic, and they had no idea until they did a special blood work and found traces of formaldehyde oh. in my blood work. Oh. So they had no idea where it came from. Um, later on, we discovered that it was due to the treatment that I had gotten about a month prior to that. Wow, so you didn't really even know. Now, that, though, in turn made you go and look for something organic. So tell me about creating this, this line. I decided that if I survived it, I made a promise to myself that I would develop a line similar but with less toxic ingredients with a message of beauty and health so that all women would be able to benefit from getting straighter, less curls, less frizz right. hair without the dangers, without the risks to their health. So you liked what it did for women, but you just wanted it to do it in a way that was not toxic. I wanted to do something that would make the difference, that would stand out, something that we would be proud to say, you can still have straight, looking great, healthy Unfrizzy hair. Unfrizzy hair. Without the risks. All right, I want to take a look at some, some before and after photos of sure. ladies that have used Caragreen. Tell us what we're seeing in these photos. These are great women that today are still users of Caragreen. They're loyal clients, and you can see the frizz, the unmanageable, the dry hair over uh, chemical in their hair, but yet they were able to obtain the great results we are looking at right now. You see straighter hair, no frizz, shine, manageable. This looks fantastic, and they're all using Caragreen. And they're not afraid to go out on a rainy day because the hairs are not gonna get frizzy. Isn't that great? Perfect. Your product line is great. I love the, the name Caragreen. We're seeing lots of different products, but you brought a new one, a, a special one. Yes, this is one of my babies. This is one of the best product I think that uh, we developed with Caragreen for women that needed something different. You right. know, usually women use the perfume. You were in a here. department store, right? I You're was at a department store and, and I saw women using all types of fragrances and I realized they have fragrance for everything, for the cat, for the dog, for the sheets, for the car, but they don't have fragrance for the hair. Yeah. So immediately I decided we need to create an awesome fragrance that it's not only going to give an awesome fragrance to the hair, but it's going to deposit shine. It's going to be UV protector. UV, oh, you got to try this. UV protector because you, you it go to the beach. You brought your whole product line with us, which is sun. fantastic looking. But this is, let me just get in here. And immediately you see the shine. Oh yeah. It doesn't weigh it down. No. And the and fragrance smells is delicious. Fantastic. All of our viewers, where can they find you? Well, they can go into our website, caragreen.com, and learn more about our products, about what we have, how they work, and who we are and what we stand for. You know, I just applaud you because you took a tragic situation and you propelled it into something, and you're really inspiring in that way. 
Well, Julie, I wanted to take the horrible situation into something positive. I wanted to be able to develop a hair keratin system that would be set aside from every other one out there with a message of health and beauty for all the professionals in the beauty salons, in the spas, and to everyone's homes. And our viewers at home, and, and for me and for anyone, you've left your legacy of healthy beauty treatments. And thank you for that. For generations to come. Generations thank to you. come. All right, and if you'd like to learn more about looking your best from your head to your toes, you can visit us at thebalancingact.com or get a little bit social. Log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. This morning, we have a very important health story. It's about breast cancer and a new test that is helping survivors. Here to explain is Dr. Ann Stroh, a medical oncologist, and Dr. Katherine Schnabel, Senior Vice President of Research and Development at Biotheronostics. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Olga. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks Dr. For Schnabel, us. let me start with you. Tell me about the test your company has developed and why this is so important today. BCI is a novel test for breast cancer patients. Mm -hmm and it provides a molecular profile of an individual patient's tumor to enable a better understanding of how to continue to care for these patients beyond five years. There are two important pieces of information that BCI provides. One is the likelihood that a patient might relapse af after year five, and the other, and more importantly, is whether or not she will benefit from actually extended endocrine therapy or continuing endocrine therapy. And this is very important because, as you know, for these patients, the ongoing management of their breast cancer is very significant for them. I've heard that a lot of estrogen therapies can be really hard on a woman. Is this true or is this false? Yeah, no, it's, it is true. Mm -hmm. And so to clarify on estrogen therapies, what we're really trying to do is to create a low estrogen state in the body. And so when we talk about endocrine therapies, they're really anti-estrogens. And about 80 to 85 percent of breast cancers are going to be ER positive or estrogen receptor positive. So it's very important. These are very integral treatments to help cure women of breast cancer. And so yes, they can be hard. Patients can have a lot of side effects menopausal symptoms, weight gain, mm -hmm. hot flashes, risk of osteoporosis, vaginal dryness, and it can be very uncomfortable. And this is a tool that helps patients make educated decisions about their tumors so they can maybe alleviate the symptoms and stop the medications appropriately when needed. And Olga, if I might add, you know, for this particular type of breast cancer, which are hormone receptor positive breast cancers, mm -hmm. three-fourths of the deaths actually happen post year five there's an ongoing risk for this particular type of breast cancer. And so having, having uh, tests that actually can provide answers at that late stage of the disease are very important for these patients. Correct, because I can never tell a woman with estrogen receptor positive breast cancer that they're 100% cured. Exactly, now let's talk more about this test, Dr. Schnabel. How does it work? Is it complicated? No, it's not complicated at all. In fact, um, an additional biopsy is not going to be needed by the patient. Um, it utilizes the, the original biospecimen from when the patient was diagnosed. And essentially, all she has to do is talk with her physician about ordering the test. Mm -hmm. And it gets sent to our centralized lab in San Diego. And uh, that's where the gene expression profile is done and performed, and the test results are generated there. I have a couple of family members who have gone over that five-year mark, and yet from some I hear, oh, I'm, I'm good. From others I hear, I'm not sure. So how long does this anti-estrogen therapy maybe help extend it, if you will? There was recent data that shows improved survival in patients if you continue on anti-estrogen therapies from five, now lengthening it to 10 years. Okay. And so it's really, it can be checked at any time because we have the specimen from the initial time of diagnosis, um, and it can be helpful in patient and physician relationships to discuss when is this utilized, how can I use it um, down the road. Dr. Schnabel, would you like to add anything? Sure, I mean, I think, I think you know, having molecular level data to, to integrate into a physician's you know, uh, working management plan for the patients is, is really a significant breakthrough in breast cancer. Breast cancer index seems like another great example of medicine uh, becoming maybe more personalized, which I think is important because I think we're opening up communication, women are learning more. I mean, we've gone miles in terms of advance mm -hmm. because of that open communication and open dialogue. 
That's correct. And a lot of patients will say, well, why did so-and-so down the street have this therapy? And why did my sister have this therapy? And so this actually personalizes it to their tumor. And it's very helpful for a patient to make an educated decision about their actual disease. But always consult with your doctor, correct, Dr. Yes, Schnabel? Yes, absolutely. I think this risk balance discussion is really important for the physician to have with their patients. And breast cancer index can be an integral part of the ongoing management of this patient. I always correct. like to end on a high note, doctor. We've come along way there's a lot of hope out there isn't there there is a lot of women are being cured of this disease amen dr. Schnabel I think you know with the continued innovation that is being infused into the field I think it can only get more promising um, for cancer patients in general and in terms of educating ourselves is there a website that we could go to to learn more yes you can you can go on our website the biotheranostics website answers beyond five to find out more information about the test and how to how to order the test. Answers beyond five. That's great. Thank you so Thank much you for everything for you do. Us. Thank Doctor, you for having us. God bless you. And if you want to learn more, log on to our website, thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, parents, your little one has lost a tooth and it's time for the tooth fairy to pay a visit. How do you make the experience enchanted and educational too? Well, according to our next guest, all you need is a magical wand, a bit of imagination, and a great idea. Joining us today are Terry Zimmerman and Kim Koss, the women behind the windowsill fairy. It is so great to have you in the studio. Thank you so much Thanks for having us. Right off the bat, I have to know how you guys came up with this idea. Well, Julie, my daughter was six when she lost her tooth and she had concerns. She sure. wanted to know how is the tooth fairy going to find my tooth. So I laid in bed with her and I'm a dental hygienist of almost 20 years. I got creative and I thought we need a special tool to help guide the tooth fairy. You wanted it to be magical, but you wanted it to be educational too. Exactly. We want children to take care of their teeth. They need to start with brushing, flossing, rinsing, eating healthy, making the right choices at a young age. The Tooth Fairy does pay more for a healthy tooth. See, we want those beautiful, healthy teeth right in the bag for the Tooth exactly. Fairy. Exactly. All right, tell me what comes in the kit. So inside the windowsill fairy is Wanda, the doll. So adorable. Wanda has a suction cup on the back, so she will adhere to the window. Brilliant. So she goes in the window, she holds the lost tooth in her pouch, and then the light from the wand guides the tooth fairy straight to that tooth. Oh my gosh, this is my, Michaela used to worry, how does the tooth fairy get to me? How does she know where my tooth is? Exactly. I could have said the wand brings her. Kim, this book is so beautifully illustrated. And as sisters, tell me the story about that process of how you guys wrote and illustrated the book. Our inspiration for the book came from our children. Uh, the main character of the story is Rebecca Lee, and Rebecca is my middle name, and Lee is Terry's middle name. And Rebecca Lee is based off of Terry's daughter, Peyton. Okay. So Terry would take pictures of Peyton and then in all the different poses in the book, and she would send them to me. And then Terry had a very clear vision of how she wanted each and every page to look. And I would sketch the pictures and then send them back to Terry and she'd say, that's exactly what I had in my mind. <laughs> and it just flowed very easily. So we had the sister connection that made the project really work and come to life. That makes it so special. This is a wonderful way for families to create a tradition and it's also a great gift. Exactly. Absolutely. And so we play with it? Yes. This is the windowsill fairy. Pretty. Right on. <gasps> Look at that. She looks so beautiful. Does that doll look like her? Yeah. You lay down right here. <laughs> okay. Back at the Tooth Fairy's castle, the snow was falling softly. Well done. Okay, let me see Wanda. Let's put her on the window. And then can you put the wand in her hand? We want parents to take the time and read to their children. It's so important to spend quality time with the kids. Create a tradition every time a tooth is lost and spend great time with the kids. So important. And what is the going rate for a tooth these days? According to a survey that was done in 2013, okay. the going rate is 
$3.70. Wow. And where can viewers go to find out more or to purchase your kit? The Windowsill Fairy is sold in 700 corporate Party City stores. If you can't run out and get yours at Party City, you can go to PartyCity.com and order online. Fantastic. Now, a child will lose, how many teeth are they, they going to lose? They lose about 20 teeth 20 between teeth. the ages of 5 and 12. Wow. And we even have a um, chart in the back of the book where you can chart their missing teeth, and there's uh, 10 healthy tips to keep your teeth clean and healthy. This is really great. Uh, a great idea, great for parents and children. Thanks so much for stopping by the studio today. Thank oh, you thanks. for having thanks us. Thanks for having us. All right, you want to learn more about this enlightening and enchanting and creative concept for kids and parents? Well, visit us at thebalancingact.com or get social. Log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. Thanks so much for spending part of your morning with us. I think the Tooth Fairy book is a is a hit. I love it. And I just don't understand how I used to get a quarter and now my kids get like five bucks. <laughs> we hope you learned a little something this morning. Remember, we've got a lot more on our website. It's thebalancingact.com. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Let's be social together. Until the next time, remember, find your balance. So long, everybody.